Hey, this is Danielle and today we're going to show you how to make some easy barley mats for treats for your guinea pigs or rabbit. You're going to start with two bins. You need them to have some drainage holes in the bottom. Okay, so we're putting together some um, grass mats for our guinea pig, guinea pigs and rabbits. So I've got two containers. They have a little bit of soil in them and we're going to cover them with some barley seed. We bought a large bag of barley seed for this project. We started by just putting a light layer of soil at the bottom of the bins and then spreading our seed at the top. You want it to be fairly thick. Just get the corners you missed. Or the edges. That's good. Now go to that one. Let's smooth it all out. Probably want a little, so you see these zones here, Godric? A couple right okay. Yeah, odd. Okay, go ahead, finish it up. This is what it looks like before we covered it all up with the soil. Okay, now we're just gonna cover it with some garden soil. Ah, that's enough. And we can just smooth the soil out. If we need a little more, we can get it, but just try to cover it up. You're just covering it just enough so that it's um, not <clears throat> gonna be crazy. Over the course of one to two weeks, you're gonna be watering it, making sure to keep this fairly moist um, every day. You don't want it soaking, you just want enough moisture that it can grow easily. It takes about one to two weeks for this to fully grow. All of our seed is stored in this bin so we can make more mats at a later time. After watering for a couple weeks, you're gonna see that you can flip up your mat and you'll see a very thick layer of root system on the bottom. This is a good sign that it's ready to be moved in with your guinea pigs. And this is our guinea pigs enjoying it. Our rabbit likes it, but not nearly as much as our guinea pigs did. So they ate this down in like a day. So it might be worth separating out sections so that you're not giving it to them all at once. I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, make sure to visit my blog, DIYDanielle.com for more information about this project. Take care. Bye.